Like you, we are concerned about the future of our nation. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to right the ship. To elect Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. All right, welcome back, everybody. There's a new group of former George W. Bush staffers. They are dead set on electing Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. The group calls itself 43 alumni for Biden. And while the group is made up of Republicans, Democrats, and independents, their agenda is clear. Do whatever it takes to obscure a race and reimagine the last four years under President Trump. One man who says he sees right through this agenda is our next guest, president of Americans for Limited Government, former political appointee of President George W. Bush, Rick Manning. Mr. Manning, welcome back. It's fair to point out that just because one worked for Bush doesn't make one a Republican or even that one who has values that align with Christian and Jewish conservatives, right? Well, I think that's very true, and I think it's obvious. You know, President Trump, just to recount, President Trump created the lowest unemployment rate in recorded history, lowered the unemployment rate for African Americans, for Hispanics, for Asians, and yes, whites. He also cut taxes for 83% of Americans. He also cut 22 regulations for every one that they put through, put into place. So if you want a Reagan conservative who cuts taxes and, and cuts regulations and puts people to work, Donald Trump's your guy. And yet somehow these former Bush, and Bush employees have decided that they can make money at, or get another job with another administration, or they were just liars. But one of those three things is true, because the fact of the matter is, they should love Donald Trump if they thought, if they actually agreed with the George W. Bush agenda. Right. Well, again, they didn't say that. I mean, a lot of these people were Democrats and independents. It's quite conceivable they could have had jobs in the Bush administration, but worked to actively undermine the Bush administration. Is that fair? Well, it's certainly a possibility. And, you know, given the fact that they appear to have been silent during the entirety of the Obama administration and are throwing up roadblocks during the Trump administration, it at least one to wonder who these people are, what they were actually doing, and if, in fact, they were uh, members of the Bush administration based on opportunity, not based on philosophy. Yeah. Last thing, if you think about it, if Joe Biden, God forbid, were to win, we're, we're all pretty much assured that he's not going to be the guy in charge. It's going to be AOC and Kamala Harris and those left-wing extremists who will be running that government, Bernie Sanders, uh, Bernie Panders, that, those kinds of folks. Can any person who, who is actually a legitimate conservative uh, be accused of wanting that type of administration? In other words, can any of these people who are in this group be considered conservative whatsoever? Well, the other, you know, the Biden campaigns made it very clear what they want to do. They want to eliminate the tax cuts. They want to re-regulate America. They don't like the fact that we're energy independent for the first time in 50 years. They don't like those things. They don't like that we're rearranging the agreements with China to make it so Americans are put first rather than, than foreign interests and multinationals. So you know what? These people have defined the swamp monsters. They've been in D.C. so long that they've forgotten why they came, if they ever knew. And this is all about power and access. And apparently they don't have power and access in, Trump, in the Trump administration, and they're hoping to gain it in a Biden administration. The rest of America knows that sound economic policy, that cutting taxes, cutting regulations, leads to job growth. Creating sane trade policy leads to job growth. You know, by the way, that's not even to mention putting our, our embassy in Israel into uh, Jerusalem and making NATO pay their fair share of the NATO bill. So you know what? Anybody who sits there and wants to bang on George W. or in George, on behalf of George W. Bush, using those credentials on Donald Trump, they are badly mistaken. They're either but they're not blind. They know exactly what they're doing. So they're aligning with the socialists in this country against capitalists. And there's no excusing yeah, that. And I don't, I don't know that they're doing the former president, George Bush, any favors either by claiming they somehow at least tangentially represent his values. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the time. Coming up, sack the name. As Democrats try to rename and remove monuments all around the country, why they should take a look in the mirror themselves. It's Chris Nelson.